This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the new pulse system that I've been working on. It uses a 556 chip. I was thinking about using two 555s, but a 556 actually incorporates two 555 chips together. It just saves space. You can see I've done a number of reconfiguration here. What you see in the background is the control panel, or one of the control panels I'll be using. There's a good picture of the heat sink. There's not much to see. In another day or two or less, I'll have this up and running, at least for the first test. The reason the clamps are there is I'm gluing those sections instead of screwing them on. For those of you who are following all of this, we've been working with the, or I've been working with the 15 plate system to get a baseline see what we can get and how much amperage it takes to get it using tap water all these are tests there's a lot of people taking the LR1000 unit out and putting them in cars and doing everything you can imagine with them but remember this the main objective is not to use the plate system for put out the objective in this is to use or get the plates to get a baseline and use the pulse system hopefully so we can get to zero point energy. That's a nasty word for a lot of people. To me all that means is that we tap onto another source. It does not mean that we're using more energy uh, or getting more energy out than we're putting in. All that means is that we're tapping another source of energy and using it. You can liken that to wind power if you like free power until you consider somewhere you're paying for that power. Zero point energy is the same thing. Does not mean we're violating any laws of energy. At least that's my interpretation. And I don't really care about anybody else's interpretation. You can see how it fits together there. be using a 12 volt supply to run it and we'll be putting out a few more amps. There's a good view of the test cell I'll be using. It's 12 inches long. There's two plates there and about six inches wide. Again the idea is to use the plates that we have as baseline. Know how much amperage it takes to to make the hydrogen slash oxygen and go from there. If we get the pulse system working, we should be able to bring the amperage way down and produce just as much gas as we're producing now. Understand, because we're using tap water now does not necessarily mean we have to use tap water later. There's a lot of people saying, well, if you're using tap water, you're producing all kinds of garbage in the water from the tap. We don't have to care about that. All we care about is zero point energy, and that's getting there. The reason I'm using tap water in all my experiments is to see the baseline or to get the baseline. You can always produce 
more hydrogen by putting salt in the water, by putting any other thing in the water that will allow you more power to go through it. Electrolyte It's a good view of the scope that I'll be using. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll have most of this set up right. I'm just about finished. The pull system now, at least for the first test, there's a good view of the variable resistor panel that I'll be using. By varying the resistance, I'll be able to change the frequency. Without a meter, without a scope, it's pretty hard to see what's going on. You need a scope. This one is a Heath kit which I got for about 25 bucks, second or third hand or fourth hand, it really doesn't matter. It will do what I need for now. Remember what we're after is zero point. Please don't buy my equipment thinking that you're going to solve the world with a cell to put in your car. That's not what this is about. We'll put it, we'll get the cars running on zero point. 